Barnet three, Scunthorpe one. Dean, your thoughts on that performance? Outstanding performance. Outstanding collective performance. Um, it was a bit like the, I said that to you, Joe. It was a bit like the first game of the season. We didn't know what they were going to throw at us. We knew they'd be physical. Try grab. There's five and a half thousand here tonight, and I think what we did is showed a real mature. We managed a mature performance, and we managed the game excellently. Um, a big kick in the teeth for them was when they got one back, which I didn't think they deserved at the time. I thought we were the stronger team all the way through the game. Um, obviously, we knew they'd start on the front foot, so that fourth phase of the game, we managed that really well. And then, uh, as bit, uh, bit by bit went, boy, we scored from uh, from restart, which was excellent. I didn't think we were at our best. We didn't get into good territories well enough in the first half, but in the end, we managed the game really well and fully deserved the victory. There's been quite a carnival atmosphere at Scunthorpe this last week with new owners. How important was it to silence them in the first half? I hate the silence then. We're just looking after our own, look after our own backyard. We're not them type of people, you know. We wish Jimmy really well. Um, I think it's going to be tough for anyone that comes here now. This is going to be a real tough place to go. You can see how his teams want to play. They're up and at you. They've got a bit of fire about them. Um, it's a challenge for him. He's got 16 games. He's probably got to get so close to 50 points. So, but I think they're the type of club that could do it. Um, he's got a lot of backing. He's signed some players. So, um, we wish him well in that. But from our point of view, tonight's all about us. And that first goal, the Gorman free kick, he'll claim he meant it, but did he? Yeah, look, it's a complete, it's a cross that he tries to put into the far post. Uh, you know, look, from their point of view, I know they're trying to sign a goalkeeper as a young kid, so he tried to put him under pressure, so he identified that. Not as a weakness, but a young kid, 18 years of age and experience, so um, you want to sort of look at things like that and try to affect the game with it. But um, yeah, great, great delivery from Gorman, great goal. And uh, he quickly made it too in the second half, a brilliant run by Kanu and then passing it to on Idris Box and getting that second goal. Yeah, good composure. Idris obviously goes down the side, drops his shoulder and, and Gormo supporting the play. And he, he should score more goals, Gormo, to be honest with you. I think that's his fourth, is it? Maybe his fifth. I think he's a player that can score more goals from the edge of the box. He's got a beautiful, he's got a wand of a right foot, to be honest with you. Um, I know he set quite a lot up from corners and set pieces. So it's, I'm delighted for him tonight, my fellow countryman, so I'm delighted for him. And how great is it that even though we might not have been at the races the whole time, we still come away with the three points? Yeah, look, that was a big hit. They got, they got the tails up. To be fair to the lad, the eight, I think it's Beeston is the lad's name, he closed, skipped down and he forced an error. And uh, that's what we spoke about. That's what we walked on, obviously, over the last 48 hours, not letting them force any errors from us. And he managed to force an error. And to be fair to the lad, he's been clinical, great finish in front of the goal, uh, McDonough. So, um, and I thought we responded brilliant to that. And I'm delighted for Dave Moyer to get his goal. He's at the far post, great header, back where to come from, great delivery in as well. So um, a lot of positives, I think that really was a kick in the tee to them and, that, and that's sort of, we see the game out really well. And as you just touched on there, David Moy again, his first goal for the Bees, how great was that for him and his confidence? He needs that, you know, when he came in his confidence was low. Um, I know Dave, I've worked on before, he's a powerful boy, he's brilliant in the air. He just needs a bit of TLC and a little bit of loving. He needs his belly tickled a little bit, that's all it is. But he's a lovely kid, he's honest. And that's so important when we're signing players, we're signing honest, genuine players that come to us for the right reasons. He's come to be involved in playing, he probably hasn't started as much as he'd liked. But hopefully that goal will give him a big boost as we go forward. And finally, 101 and our B's coming here today, second midweek game in a matter of days. How, how good was their support today? We went and seen them there at the end. Absolutely brilliant. Fantastic to come up here on a Friday night um, and really get the bragging rights. I hope they have a brilliant weekend and we'll see them again at Halifax, but we really appreciate it. It's, it's difficult. It's not, it's, there's been train strikes today as well, hasn't there? So, yeah, a lot's gone on. So, for their supporters, it just shows you, you know, they're the heartbeat of the football club and that wins for them. Dean, congratulations and thank you for your time.